In this video, we're going to look at the VAT implications when you're referring to your sales in Xero. We will also go back to the VAT settings just to recap on those. So let's look at VAT and sales. Okay, first of all, let's look at where your VAT setup is in Xero. So settings, general settings, and choose financial settings. And here we have a VAT section. The first simplistic option would be none, where your business is not VAT registered. If you're not a VAT registered business, that's what you would choose. The second option is accrual scheme, and that is the standard VAT scheme. VAT period, the chances are it will be quarterly, and you would input what your VAT number is. If you make any changes, you would scroll down and you would save. Okay, third option, cash scheme. Again, the chances are you will be quarterly and you would enter your VAT number. Fourth option, flat rate scheme, which can be accrual, which is standard, or cash. Okay, what I want to do now is talk through the different VAT schemes, the different options you have in Xero. So we have none, if you're not VAT registered, accrual, which is standard, cash, and flat rate. I'm by no means a VAT expert. If you need VAT expertise, go and find somebody who is a VAT expert. But for the straightforward VAT issues, let's talk through these schemes. So the easiest one is if you need to set up VAT as non. That would be if your business is not VAT registered. In other words, for your sales invoices, you will have no VAT included in them. Second up, we have the VAT accrual scheme. Don't get confused by the word accrual, which is an accounting term. This is the standard scheme for VAT. If you register for VAT and don't choose any of the unusual schemes, this is the scheme that you will be on. So what does the standard scheme, the accrual scheme, means? It means that every time you issue a sales invoice for standard UK sales, you will add VAT to your sales invoices. And when will that VAT be due to be paid to HMRC? Well, it will be based on the date of your sales invoice. So if you have a VAT quarter that ends the 31st of March, if you have a sales invoice that's dated the 31st of March, it will fall into that VAT quarter to determine when you have to make the payment. Next one, the VAT cash scheme. So what's the difference between the accrual scheme and the cash scheme? Well, the cash scheme is designed to help cash flow for a small business. In other words, if you are issuing sales invoices and you're maybe waiting a long time to get paid, you're penalised if you've got to pay over the VAT to HMRC. So what happens if you choose the cash scheme because of that? Well, the same thing when you issue a sales invoice, you will include VAT. There's no difference there. But the difference is when you come to prepare your VAT return. The VAT for your sales invoices will not be due unless your sales invoices are being paid. So back to the same scenario, if your VAT quarter ends the 31st of March, you produce a sales invoice dated the 31st of March, it will not fall into that VAT quarter, it will fall into the VAT quarter when you actually receive payment. So you can see from that, it will help your cash flow. The flip side is on your purchases, the same thing happens that you only reclaim the VAT for purchases that you have actually paid. But if you're struggling to collect your cash, this might be the scheme for you. And then we have the VAT flat rate scheme. Now this is not as popular as it used to be, but it's designed to simplify VAT for small businesses. If you're using zero, it's easy to account for VAT, so that's not really an argument here. But what happens if you're on the flat rate scheme? 
Well, when you issue your sales invoices, it's exactly the same as before. You will include VAT on all your sales invoices. But what's different here, on your purchase invoices, you won't claim back VAT. And what you pay to HMRC is just a set percentage of your sales, including the VAT amount. And the percentage you pay, it depends on your business type. You need to go to HMRC to find out what your percentage would be. So as an example, if you have a sales invoice that's for £100, the VAT would be £20. So the full amount of that invoice is 120 and the VAT you would pay would be that £120 multiplied by the percentage for your business. And then you ignore all your purchases. So the idea behind it is to simplify your VAT. And that's the four schemes that you choose from in Xero. Now let's look at adding a sales invoice in Xero and the VAT. So we're not VAT registered. The unit price is £100 and there's no VAT on the sales invoice. So now we've got a sales invoice where we are VAT registered. So being VAT registered, we could be on the accrual scheme, the cash scheme, or the flat rate scheme, and our sales invoice will be exactly the same. The unit price is £100, and this time the tax rate is 20% VAT on income. The VAT amount is £20, that's added on, and your invoice total will be 120. So just to recap, if you're not VAT registered, it will be no VAT as a tax rate. If you're VAT registered, regardless of what scheme you're on for your sales invoices, the tax rate will be 20% VAT on income. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing.